To eat is a necessity, but to enjoy every bit of it is the real deal. Welcome to another exciting episode of Onga Foodie Master, brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. As you already know, Onga Foodie Master is an ungacious and entertaining food game show here to put the food knowledge and taste buds of foodies to the test set to four tables. After which, the foodie with the highest points and the last foodie standing gets to walk home with some amazing goodies courtesy of Onga Nigeria. I'm your host and certified foodie all-in-one, Maiwa Mula. And right about now, let's meet our first four contestants who are ready to embark on this ungacious food experience. Mm, onga. I do music basically and um, I'm into travel agency management. I'm into music. Um, I am an artist. I play the guitar and the keyboard. I'm a student and also run a small fashion business. I'm, I'm a cinematographer and... I do video editing. Mm. How much of a foodie are you on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 over 10. 7 over 10. I think 8. I add like 5 to Okay, eight. so 15 over 10. <laughs> yeah. What is that one food you still can't get enough of? This I'm planting eh? is my best uh, food. Okay. I'm my love. A red one, baby. Planting um, on any kind of food, uh, I'll vibe with it. Mmm, Welcome to the trivia segment. In this segment, our contestants will have to let their pen and paper do the talking in 20 seconds. I'll read out the question, and after I say stop, they'll have to drop their pen and paper and reveal to me their answers. But not to worry, because in this segment and in this round, I'll be acting as their best friend, but also their invigilator. Let the games begin. Mm, Onga, ginger, onion, and garlic comes in blue, yellow, and green. Yes or no. Your time starts now. Stop. Mm. Richard you answered yes. Ara, you answered no. Bankole, you also answered no. And Steve J, you answered yes. Ara and Bankole, I'm here to announce to you that you were wrong. The two yes men got the answers correctly. Oh, 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 oh. Right about now, we're moving on to my favorite segment, which is the food challenge segment, where our contestants will be blindfolded and a plate of food will be placed in front of them and they'll have to guess what that food is using only two of their senses. They can either taste or touch the food. Mm, you can now taste or feel the food. Mm. 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 Okay, Bangkok is the best in taste. Mm. Ara, you like what you're tasting? Your face doesn't seem like this. You don't. You know, Richard seems to be savoring everything. He's in love with it. Or you're just hungry. I love it. <laughs> Can I taste again? Yeah, you can. You taste as much as you want. But you've got only a few seconds left. Okay. Five. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now drop your spoon. Mm, onga. You have 20 seconds to write your answers. Your time starts now. Hey, oh Allah. All right, right, me so much confidence. <laughs> Love you. Same thing with Richard. But it seems like Bank Holiday is very positive. Write very legibly, I should be able to see your answer. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reveal your card. Can you describe the experience while you tasted what you did? Well, it was too taste for me. Okay. Three, rather. At first, when I actually tasted the food, 
I had this taste of burnt under pot burnt beans. Burnt under pot beans. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number one and number two, I had this taste of banana. Banana. Yeah. Number three. And number three, it was smashed potato. What I actually said was very soft. Okay. It was smashed too. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't eat your banana? It was not mala okay. at all. I feel it in my jaw. Lower jaw and the sweetness, yeah. The potato, potato is sweet, first of all. At first, I thought it was banana, then I had to taste it again. Yeah, I'm okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm very allergic to potato, so I know the taste. Well, I felt that potato taste, uh, the taste was like coming, going, coming, going, like. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, like all right, the second round. <laughs> You had your blindfold on, and I asked you to guess what food you were placed in front of you using only your taste and touch them. Richard, your answer was this potato. Of course. Your answer was banana. Banana. Oh, the food is. What? What did I ask you to analyze it? You told me you said potato. So that's not how it's actually. Position. 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 The land. Bangkok. Your answer was mashed potato. Ink of beans. Ink of beans. You're mashing the wine. Your answer was mashed potato and beans. Yeah, yeah we, we, both, we both got the first answer, so I'm the really sure we got it. That the right answer was mashed potato and veggie. Therefore, none of you got the answer. Hey! hey. 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 Well, with that being said, nobody gets a point in this round. Now is the time for our contestants to think before they act. They will have to let us know which of the ingredients placed in front of them was not used to make the food that they just tasted. Mm, bonga. Yeah, like it. Potato bonga. Potato bonga. Yeah. It was not used to make the food. Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe because I know if they should mix the two, potato is going to still <laughs> shine. But I know yam is not there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Very sure. Well, this yam, I don't know. It's actually tricky. Let me take just. Let me just go with this. So potato was not used to make the food just tasted. Yeah. Mm. Bonga. Yeah, like In the last round, mm. I asked you to analyze the food that you tasted and tell me which of the ingredients placed in front of you was not used to make the food that you just tasted. Potato or yam? Richard, your answer was yam. Ara, right. your answer was also yam. Bangkali, you also said yam was not used to make the food that you tasted. What's this, Jay? Surprisingly, potato <laughs> <laughs> was not used to make the food that you tasted. Even though your answer was mashed potato. <laughs> and you still like that. Confusion in the land. You said that potato before that. You still like this. <laughs> Confused? <laughs> I want to announce to you that you got the answer wrong. The right answer was yam. So Richard, Ara, and Bankoli, you get one point. Nani win! I did I win! I am not on a low down. When did I do that? Points compiled. The winner of this episode of Hunger Food Master is Richard. Hey, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Richard. Richard VFX. How does it feel to be the winner of today's episode of Hunger Foodie Master? Wow. Mm. Okay. Feel so. Eslava Jukurete. Exa what? Eslava Jukurete. What does that mean? For his one sweet word. Only you can understand. Okay. 
Is you feel good. Yeah. What do you have to say to your fellow adversaries that try to compete with you? They try. Mm. They try. You but you cannot compete against the champion. Hey, I okay. am the champion. I I didn't expect it. You but, never expected it. But we give God the glory. Okay. And I thank you for participating. Mm. And but I'm still the I'm still the best. You yeah. said it and you did it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Do you have any special shout out that you want to make to anybody? Yeah. Shout out to my friends, everybody. Mm. All my like all my friends. I don't want to mention names. Mm. And Onga. Ah. <laughs> Onga. Hey. <laughs> they made this happen and I really appreciate it. Yeah. And Onga. Mm. They killed the hunger. All <laughs> right. All right. They killed the hunger. All right, with that, we've come to the end of another exciting episode of your favorite food game show, Onga Foodie Master. We'll be back next week with more interesting food twists, okay? Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles on Instagram and Facebook at Onga underscore Nigeria. I remain your host and certified foodie, Myra Mula, signing out. Onga, Mama's